Hi Libra, it's Gwen and I'm here to do your uh, 111 Signs, Symbols, Synchronicities uh, reading. So I've asked uh, your guides and angels and source to come through with um, through the imagery in this, in this reading, like let the imagery come to life through the cards here, let the messages, like you'll know it's your reading, okay? Like there will be no doubt. So like if it's yours, comment below. Let's add some powerful energy to that, right? And um, it also enters you like anytime you comment on my videos now and give away a free reading each month. So, you know, you get entered into that drawing if you comment. So I love you, Libras. Thanks for all the support in the channel. Welcome to the new subscribers and cross watchers. You're welcome here too. You could be dealing with a Libra and the messages could be for you. So this is general. Take it how it resonates. If you want your own private reading, reach out to me. All my information's in the box below. Um, okay. <laughs> First of all, the energy of some procrastination that came in. I've been wanting to do your reading now for a good, but sometimes that procrastination energy um, is disguised as actually a healthy distraction. Okay. I, I don't know. I want to go into a long story about it, but that's what I got out of the gist of the procrastination. Okay, someone will get a message out of that. Uh, uh, spirit and um, source is communicating to you and through you through music. Okay, um, so much, so many songs that wanted to come through during the time that I was tuning in. Um, it's too many, too many. Like, I was like, I can't possibly remember all these. And so I'm not supposed to, you know? And so then I guess, um, it took me a lot of grounding and a lot of, um, but there were a lot of distractions along the way in getting prepared for your reading, but they were good distractions. So it's very interesting. The energy going in, um, there were a few songs that I feel like love is on your mind for those Libras tuning in because uh, there were a few love songs that wanted to come through and I wasn't particularly focusing on that for this reading. So journey, uh, faithfully came through just the song was just like it like stuck in my head. So, and it like an enduring love is what I think with, uh, with that song. Uh, so I say that that means sharing multiple life, multiple lives with this person. You know, you remember this person. This person is just, uh, you know them. You know, you're like this. Yeah, this is my person. So, and it, I'm faithful and this love is everlasting, enduring through time. You know, <laughs> I'm forever yours. Okay, I'm going to sing that one. Um, and then, and then Libra, this quirky, weird ass energy of Bruno Mars coming in with, um, like the song about Mar will you marry me? So some of you Libras could be getting popped a surprise proposal or thinking about that. Like on a whim is what I'm saying. Like we were bored one night and so we just decided what the fuck, let's just go fucking get married. <laughs> It's like, okay, okay. <laughs> there was another song too, but I'll remember it right now. If it, if it comes back to me, but those are the two that stood out that I wanted to talk to you about. So let's, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the cards that I've got and go over them a bit with you and um, remember to pay attention to numbers could be talking to you today too, because I'm going to point out the numbers and then um, animals big time for you Libra right now if you haven't figured that out like I know Libras usually love animals and so like it, the animal there are so many animals talking to you right now nature communicating to you animal signs um and they'll come out in the cards and then I even have a little bit of a love uh spread here for you and those it's important to let the, let the imagery like come to life like with your third eye just like let the motion happen in the what you see in the picture because that's important too. All right. Okay. So what do I got here? Um, I'm using a new deck today. It's called the um, 
wild unknown archetype deck. That's the round cards on the top. Okay, and the first card I got is Venom. Okay, and then the Shadow. And then we have the Prayer. And the Mirror. And last, the Healer. Okay. And so I wanted to decipher all these Roman numerals and have that handy. It is the only note I wrote for this. And by the way, I have a, like, I wish I knew what time it was right now because I didn't look before I hit record. But I did start tuning into your energies and writing notes that came through numbers when I looked up these numbers at 333. So that was a number that I wanted to point out to you, 333. But then other than that, like I, that's when the distraction and the, um, and I, it's probably almost five, like seriously, a couple hours of like getting ready to do your reading, <laughs> but flowing with it, just being like, okay, uh, but we got to talk about the venom and we got to talk about the shadow coming out together there with this rabbit and this boar underneath them. It's very interesting. Um, but the numbers on the tops of these cards, so we've got 62, 28, 65, 68, 25. So I'm seeing lots of twos and eights and, and 10, 11, you know, um, the six is there several times, which is talking about balance, which is your sign anyways, the six is balance. And eights are harmony and twos are about duality. So we're seeing you do some shadow work to begin with here, okay? And these archetype cards. And the venom is about, you know, too, like what we're putting out into the world um, comes back to us, basically. I don't want to spend a long time on venom. I think it has something to do with some pent up, like there's a shadow part of yourself that is not embracing some sexuality. These two animals here came out together. And I'm telling you what, when they came out here, I could, sh these two, I sure felt my Kundalini. That's all I got to say. I'm not going to go in deep into it, but it, this is about some sort of, um, some unhealthy part of you that where you're repressing some sort of, uh, It's just, it's just so much sexuality here. Okay. Um, with the rabbit is speaking about fertility as well. And now being a lucky time. So your words are very powerful as well. Okay. They could be vicious weapons or, you know, and there's some sort of anger. The boar is as anger. And look at how this boar is looking over at this rabbit. Like, I'm going to get you. Like, <laughs> just, people know usually not to mess with a wild boar. Mm -hmm. There's a part of the shadow self that feels completely like out of control. Like, yeah. But how I felt my Kundalini. So there's a, some animal attraction, like, uh, yeah, animal like attraction there. <laughs> Okay, so what's beyond that? We've got this prayer, right? And so our prayers are super powerful. Um, and this is card 65, and that's an 11 frequency, and I'm recording that on, you know, 111. So that's about manifesting. Your prayers have been heard, the prayer. Okay. A prayer has been answered. Some sort of prayer has been answered. It comes through here. You'll see later in the cards, okay? The mirror. So people need to realize things about mirrors. And, you know, this could be speaking to mirrors. Somebody showing up in your life that's a mirror that's actually helping you work through this shadow work here. Okay. Somebody that's a healer that's right next to it right here. But you are also, it's also showing you um, the snake speaks to your own healing. Your kundalini. I've already been talking about the kundalini that I felt here. The healing that's occurring to your sacral and your solar plexus chakra. Okay, that's the Ouroboros being depicted there. The mirrors, though, are like portals and dimensions to other worlds. People don't realize that, but they are. Okay, it, with the mirror and the, the mirror, the shadow and this venom, it, like it reminds me of doing shadow work in the mirror, you know, like I've done that before 
Um, I don't want to go into depth into that, but you can, you can do that kind of in-depth work in the mirror. Talk to that shadow in the mirror. All right. So the mirror though, that's out. Mirror also speaks to some sort of illusion. You know how like the magician uses mirrors. Okay. Trickery is what I'm saying. Trickery afoot. Yeah. And then we've got the healer. You are your own healer. When the mirror and the healer come out, there could be some sort of, you know, like false shaman or something like that around you. Okay. The snake shedding a skin, healing, kundalini, all of that. A life cycle ending, a new one beginning, death and rebirth, all of that. Okay. With the healer. You are your own healer. Um, okay. Let's go on. So yeah, I talked about rabbit. This is the year of the rabbit, by the way. Talking about um, fertility and new beginnings. And now is a lucky time for you. Okay. Ability to move quickly. And like I said, a high amount of sexual energy comes through with that rabbit. All right. So rabbit going down the rabbit hole. Okay. Taking possibly a leap of faith. Exploring new, you know, this part of your shadow that wants to be seen. There's some sort of like, it could be even self hatred, angry with yourself, resentment about some, some something that happened with, you know, a, there's a sexual wound there in the shadow. Okay. The boar, this aggressiveness that I feel from the boar as well, the wildness uh, from the boar. <laughs> that boar is going to eat with the, I don't, I'm not sure if boars eat rabbits. I'm not sure on that, but he like, seriously, look, I'm like, mm, this rabbit's so delicious. That's that energy that I feel. So maybe it's something new flowing into your life. Your prayers have been answered. Use your wisdom. That's the book. Okay. The book and the prayer, you know, so maybe it's a time to like, I don't know, whatever you, whatever spiritual practice you follow that has a, a beautiful book, tune into that. Okay. And then we've got the toad. So see all these animals coming out for you. The toad is also a witch is familiar, but then I've got venom out here and the toad. And you know, like, I think the toad has like poison on its back. Right. And this is also speaking to the gross, the grossness, grotesque things when the, when the toad comes out like looking in the mirror and, and looking at yourself like you're a fucking toad why are you doing that libra shame <laughs> i just told you why i was just thinking i was just like kind of joshing at you kind of going hey you know like don't do that to yourself you silly goose but like it's about shame it's definitely it just how that just came out. And it's like, knock me upside the head with it in this mirror. Whew. So some of those things that we see in our life, these people in our life that are mirrors in our life that we think actually are like, ugh, they're showing us something about ourselves, some unhealed aspect of ourselves as well. Apple speaks to healing. The apple speaks to, eh, again, I've got a, a serpent there, a snake there, and the apple there. <laughs> temptation there. The old Adam and Eve story, the apple and the temptation. And the, this is about uh, sexualness again, like the vitality being invigorated, the senses, the apple. Feeling, yeah. Like, when... Also, when you look at somebody in your life, you see them as a mirror. That's also coming out. Apple also speaks to teacher. Apple and the healer. Somebody coming into your life that's a mirror, but also a teacher. Showing you how, back to how to heal yourself. Okay. 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 I didn't know all that was coming out. All right. Now, I asked my mediumship deck, how can... Libra tune in to you. Like how can they feel this connection more deeply, more profoundly show them through these cards and messages, how you're coming through 
okay, how to connect more deeply or through the pictures, okay, they'll resonate. Um, this first card is showing a woman's face looking up to the night sky, so it's a need for rest, meditation, but also things are aligning, the stars, blessings, healing occurring, okay, epiphanies, inspirational meaning, being inspired, um, having an inspired epiphany, uh, a revelation, inspired thought, you telling somebody something and it's like, actually you're like, oh shit, that was like, meant, that wisdom was meant for me. Inspired action thought, uh, yeah, from your guides. There's growth here with the plants from down below, okay? Look up, look up, look up rabbit. This is the year, this is the lucky year, okay? Be grateful. Be grateful. Moments of gratitude. Okay. This is like an SOS. This is like you opening wider. Look at these arms wide. Open wider to receiving. Okay. The beach, the ocean, the island. Maybe you have ancestry there. I mean, with the wild boar and this coming through here saying, you know, give thanks back to your ancestors, but you're going to, they've heard your call as well. Like, I feel that with the SOS there. So be grateful. Showing prayer here as well. The turn on switch, it is totally just feel that whole, like, being at peace with where you're at. You know, look at the, look at the third eye here, blossoming your crown chakra, opening wider to receiving, allowing for divine timing, putting more power into gratitude and into prayer, which is right above this, the book and prayer. Okay. It's beautiful. She's blue. So it's, she's, she's, there's forgiveness here. There's compassion here. There's tranquility here in the mind. It's so beautiful. Okay. And you're turned on. Like I feel that here. Libra. Like I, <laughs> I felt it there for you. And you know, like we've been, <sighs> sexuality is not a bad thing, by the way. Okay. Like there's, there's a lot of venom and a lot of unhealthy sexuality out there. You know, like sex is a transference of energy with somebody. So if this boar's got some, you know, wild aggression energy this rabbit may not want to mess with this boar you know may just run away so like it's important to have healthy outlets is what i'm saying as well like, <laughs> calling cards from heaven it's you know you being blessed don't you see that like here are all the signs for you so now look at all of these animals, lady, ladybug luck, lady love, that's mother Mary energy, gotta say it, blessings from above with the feathers there, angels around you, dragonfly energy, you are a multidimensional to be being of light, y you know what I'm saying? You know, like this is a beautiful part of a transformation and a surrender and a, right there with the butterfly. You know, maybe you've been seeing butterflies, maybe you're seeing ladybugs. I mean, shit, I've been seeing ladybugs here in the, in the, in the winter. It's crazy. Dragonfly energy. Okay. Seeing the light in the situation, seeing the light, the light, the blessings being bestowed upon you, Libra, the healing. And from the liminal spirit sect, the Corvid. I mean, look at this cutie Fitzsuity bird. I think he's a crow. I'm going to call him my beloved crow. And he's holding this beautiful gift, this beautiful treasure, and look how he looks at you sideways, like, this is a gift. Whatever's been invigorating you, the healing, the, 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 this is a gift. You've learned so much. Now it's time to use, like, the raven, the crow, they're very smart. And they're also very playful, right? And they're clever and mm, charismatic and, you know, like, put the past to rest was a blessing. This Corvette's like I'm giving you like some sort of gift, some sort of that you're unaware of. There's with these two coming in side by side, there's blessings in disguise coming. There's blessings all over there. Okay. So now I also want you to think of a question that can be answered with a yes or no, or, you know, definitely or no, maybe, or, you know, a question like that. 
tune you got a question for spirit okay i have some gypsy cards that i have uh, pulled one card for you and i'll get you the answer to that question at the end of the reading so now i'm going to go let me clear these clear this off here so that i can go into the love reading portion of this set these out numbers may be talking to you here and these are the ones that yeah, it's kind of pretty cool if you can let them come to life a little bit. Might get a little steamy in here with rabbit and boar energy. Just got to say it. <laughs> oh, and yeah, we got the lovers here. Yep, lovers energy. Card six. Okay, I've already told you you got a frequency of six all over in this place. Okay, you've been struck. Somebody's been struck. You, somebody uh, has been struck by Cupid's arrow. You can see that there always stands out to me in this card this is soulmate con connection this feminine feels like they could like it's about embracing the dark and the light here okay the one in the dark suit she's you know she can be who she is even those darker aspects so yeah this could be a mirror in your life okay that mirror coming back out here too and look at how the, the light side, the light side over here is like this connection. The feminine feels like safe, feels nurtured. The fetal position here, okay? Beautiful high vibrational love with the roses here. Also speaks to Gemini energy with the lovers. But yep, somebody's been struck. A cupid's arrow right there. Bing. And then we got all this passion We've got all this kind of wands energy with the, this is, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but in here we see a very endearing embrace with the nine of wands. Um, but nine of wands is typically being a bit guarded, being defensive. And I see doubts and hesitations in between here. Okay. But look at all these bird messengers, the dove, time of peace right? It's a swallow, I think. So I do see some blocks a bit here being a little bit guarded and some sort of got to remove the doubts if there are any kind of doubts in that. Okay. But I do see, look at this beautiful, look at this beautiful connection. Okay. This is the knave of wands, page of wands. Okay. It's just very playful, um, pose, childlike energy the card is actually called abandon okay the shoes are off just totally embracing a, a beautiful moment here okay lots of passion with these two cards and then it's also like cups energies deeply felt connection seven of cups though is this it's a sort of fantasy is the seven of cups Somebody's moving really slow and steady. That's the, the turtle energy. Okay. This is about some sort of emotional fulfillment. This is a beautiful embrace here. Okay. I have two sevens back to back. So seven frequency in the year seven. Choices and decisions and that are heartfelt in love lots of choices in love is the seven of cups also maybe disillusioned by love but this looks like a beautiful embrace here a connection coming together home is where the heart is it feels like home and here's the seven and that's like taking charge of this love situation taking charge so he has his little whip right here yeah this is my chariot. I'm leading my life. Okay. I know what I want. I'm going after it. That's this kind of energy. It also speaks to the sign of cancer. So something's coming and it's coming fast. Seven, seven energy here too, which is awesome. Do you have a new perspective about something, which was the underlying energy about taking control or charge of a situation, a new perspective. You see that power there? Okay. This is somebody, the, the red cord always signifies somebody that's, it's a past life connection as well. Okay. All right. Now the question, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there.
If you need your own love reading, reach out to me. I'm not going any further than that. So the answer to your question is without fail. So, like, even if you tried in your shadow self to with this connection, um, it's not going to fail. Without fail. It can't fail. Without fail. Without fail. Stop thinking about something failing. Toad energy. There's all this rabid and boar energy here. Okay. I love you guys. If it was your reading, if you enjoyed it, drop me some love down below. Uh, thank you for the good karma donations. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so very grateful. And even a thumbs up and sharing the video, that helps too. So I'll talk to you all soon. Take good care of you. Bye.